Hey, Shalom Israel, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out the 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. And one third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the Lamb wherever you go. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Amen. We're getting close to that time. Um, as, as you all know, I've uh, been watching. All of the events that's taking place, all of the threats, all of the um, the new mandates and the unrighteous decrees that's been put forth. Um, it's getting tighter and tighter, closer and closer. Getting this, getting the calls, you know, starting to get the calls in from the uh, from the bosses and everything at the plantation. You know, offering offering things, incentives, and things like that to get this thing. And understanding, you know, uh, get to get the medicine, and understanding that, hey man, this is <laughs> it's, it's right. Just like the elders and the big brothers, everybody's saying, you know, it's obviously in your face. And if you still deny this this agenda, and you still deny the prophecies being fulfilled right now, your ass is boy, hey. But that's why we, that's why we thank Yahushua Mashal so much because. That this is the will and the power of Yahweh by Shema Shai, that you know prophecy must be fulfilled. You know that the election have obtained it, but the rest were blinded. Once again, um, we're just going to get into the epistle, Lord, Lord willing. You know it'll be edifying and and again uplifting. Um, and it's simply going to be called sit. You know, sit back, and we're going to watch. We're going to read this first scripture. And this is what the title. So the title of the, of the epistle is going to lie in this first scripture. This is the book of Exodus. Chapter 14, verse 13. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not. Right, oh man, because we're coming back to understand Yahweh Hashem Asha is all powerful, brothers and sisters. He under, he knows how many hairs we have on our heads, just like I declared at the last camp. You know, just you come into that understanding. And it just, it, it just goes way above, above our head. We can't even comprehend it, bro. Bro, uh, you know, a quick testimony. I was, um, you know, I wanted to do this epistle, but I so many things I have to had to do. You know, uh, early early in the in the day in the morning, and um, so, but man, I had to go. I had to go to because I, I didn't I didn't get a chance to go at home today, and I had to go real bad, bro. And I was like, bro, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to deviate from this from the plan. I'm gonna have to go way, way back home or some, you know. And uh, so I was driving, and I got a, I got a, a serious feeling, bro. Like uh, it, it, it's all praise to Yahweh Shem Hashem because this is what we're talking about. This is what we're hoping for. This is these are the things that we're looking for. Okay, I got a serious hard urge to to come to come up here in this parking lot, you know. To uh, in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, this would be a nice place for me to, you know, calm down and. Uh, I had a strong just a turn and totally off off the plan right so I turned up here and uh, so as I started to drive up here I was like do you know oh man they got a public bathroom and it's clean it's brand it's early in the morning it's clean and I can go in here bro and that's that's that you know and I, I thought about that and I was like that was led that was being led by the spirit man and you know in in the uh, time of Jacob's trouble that's what we be looking for you know the uh, strong sensation, the strong urge. You know of the of the spirit of Yahweh Shem Hashem saying, "Go this way. You don't go that way." You know things like that, bro. That's what we're looking for. Look up uh, Exodus chapter fourteen, verse thirteen. And Moses said unto the people, "Fear ye not. Stand still, and see the salvation of Yahweh Shem Hashem, which He will show to you today. For the Egyptians whom ye have seen today." Ye shall see them again no more, forever. Yahweh Shemasha, the Lord shall fight for you, and ye shall hold your peace. So that's gonna be the epistle gonna be entitled something like that. And this, hey man, this is the epistle right here. This is this this scripture right here goes into um, and um, Jeremiah chapter sixteen, verse fourteen. And it shall no more be said that the Lord liveth, who brought the children up out of the land of Egypt. But the Lord liveth that brought the children up out of the land of the north. And all the lands that he have scattered them. You know, roughly paraphrasing, but that's what that scripture reminds me of. Stay. 
Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of Yahweh Shemashai. Right, because we understand now, uh, amen, this is, not, this is not of us. This is the Lord's program. This is the Lord's plan. All of it, bro. The, the, he directs the footsteps of man, okay? Wow. And this is the Lord we serve. This is Yahweh Shemashai. That's why he's telling us, amen, don't even fear, don't even worry about these devils. Fear the one that can that can destroy the uh, the soul and the body, which is Him, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Don't fear these devils because He's the one that created these devils. He's the one that declared the end from the beginning. You know, but hey, this, we almost there, bro. This is gonna be so nice. Okay, so we're gonna be uh, do our very best to bring out this epistle uh, on the road. You know, a little bit. The book of First Peter, chapter five, verse six. Humble yourselves. Under the mighty hand, humble, humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of Yahweh Shemashai, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your cares upon him, for he cares for you. Right. Humble ourselves under the mighty hand. Yahweh Shemashai has told us he already knows what we want before we can ask for it. Right? He knows what the things we need. And the scripture declares, uh, you know what 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 wicked father would give his if his son asked for bread would give him a stone you know or if he asked for a fish would give him a serpent how much more are you how about shimashai shy so we're going to humble ourselves therefore under the might under the mighty hand of you about shimashai shy that he may exalt us in due time casting all your cares upon him for he cares for you be sober be vigilant because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Right, and we understand that this is a, a battle. Right? So we're just gonna play our role. And our role is not to fold. Our role is not to fold. Our role is not to fold. Right? Let's go to the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 19. And you're simply, simply telling us. In your patience possess ye your soul. Right? Because, oh, don't forget uh, the scripture. Be anxious for nothing. Be anxious for nothing. In your patience possess ye your soul. When things about to, you know, go, don't all freak out and everything. Just calm. Keep it calm. Keep a level head. In your patience possess ye your soul. Revelations chapter 3 verse 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Yeah, we already got the truth. Yahweh Shemashah made it known, you know, uh, that we, you know, starting with the elders apostle, Great Millstone, and all the other brothers on down their umbrella, with that 100% with that truth doctrine, with the doctrine of Yahweh Shai, that the whole world hates and comes against even those are the Israelites that say they believe in the Lord but they're coming against this this hundred percent truth they don't want to do what the Lord has told us to do which is come under one accord and believe this word have faith in the Lord no yeah how about Shemashah said because thou has kept the word of my patience right we're, we're holding on to this hundred percent truth no matter what nobody say we're not gonna fold we're not gonna fold our role is not to fold our role is not to fold no man let me let this car go by behind us. Okay. It says, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. Now, I looked up that word patience in the blue letter on both of these in book of Luke chapter 21 verse 19 and in Revelation chapter 3 verse 10. The word patience is talking about consistency, steadfastness, right? Endurance, waiting, waiting. Of course, patience, waiting. We're waiting on Yahweh by Shemashah. We we understand that uh, He's coming back to redeem us. That we're we're not to be trying to make a covenant with the heathen. We're not to, supposed to be joined on to this world in any way, shape, or form, or trying to even save our own save our own selves. No, just be uh, calm, humble, and wait on Yahweh by Shemashah, as it, as as it says, as Moses said. Sit back, stand back, and watch. You know the salvation of Yahweh Shem Hashem, bro. That's what we're talking about. And why is that? Why is that, bro? Because we understand what's going on. 
we understand what the Lord has done and what he's that he's already declared the end from the beginning right because he's under we have the mind of Yahweh by Shema Shai. Uh oh hold on one second brothers and sisters we're going uphill I'm gonna have to I should stop tie this damn thing down I gotta this is this is a lesson to be learned here Going to the book of Psalms, chapter 73, verse 17. Until I went into the sanctuary of Yahweh Shemashah. Right, we have the mind of Yahweh Shemashah because He's blessed us with His Holy Spirit, the Spirit of understanding. Fuck! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna turn off and tie that thing down. Okay, yeah, we got to So we had to uh, stop and, uh, fix this thing man so it don't keep falling down and rocking back and forth and shit like that hopefully it's, that's good enough Let's see if we, okay do that like that okay yeah oh shit let me put my seatbelt on and i see a nice little spot we can do an epistle at right there bro mm-hmm that's a nice little spot we can do an epistle at right there very nice spot Okay, so one more time, we're going to the book of Psalms 73, verse 17. Until I went into the sanctuary of Yahweh Shemasha, then understood I therein. Right, Yahweh Shemasha has blessed us with this Holy Spirit, you know, the spirit of understanding, and we have the mind of Yahweh Shemasha. Right, he's, he's he showed us all things. He said, I'm, I'm gonna show you all things. I'm gonna. Uh, give you that Holy Spirit and he's going to teach you all things right until I went into the sanctuary of Yahweh by Shemasha then understood I therein surely thou didst set them on a, in, a sli in slippery places thou castest them down into destruction right and this like, as, as the scripture proclaims Yahweh by Shemasha has already declared the end from the beginning right all the way back in the, in the book of Genesis Right, Genesis chapter 25, verse 23. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. And one people shall be stronger than the other people. And the elder shall serve the younger. Right there, it's telling you what's going to happen. Esau, Edom, the Caucasian race, was made to serve us. Okay? To made to be our slaves, bro. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb. And the first came out red all over, like a hairy garment. Garment, And they call his name Esau. Right, so who's the first? The elder shall serve the younger. His name was Esau. Esau Eden, the Caucasian race. The red man. Because his blood shows forth through his skin. Right, Brother Malcolm? Verse 26. And after that came his brother out and his hand took hold on Esau's heel and his name was called Jacob and Isaac was three score years old when she bare them right now here's the kicker that slippery them slippery slope so that's a that's one slippery slope because it's already written that the elders gonna serve the younger you know it's already written that the children of Israel shall inherit the earth right we join heirs in the kingdom of heaven when Yahweh shy. That's the book of Genesis chapter 27, verse 37. And Isaac answered and said unto Esau, Behold, I have made him thy Lord. Once again, reiterating that you, Esau, even the Caucasian race, is our servant. And all his brethren have I given to him for servants. Right? All Esau's brethren, and and with Com and Salaki, and with corn and wine. Okay, there, there it is. It's a little. Remember that screen. The screen is cracked right here, bro. And with corn and wine, have I sustained him, 
And what shall I do now with thee, my son? Esau said unto his father, Hast thou but one blessing? Oh, my father, has thou but one blessing? You know them damn pitiful crying ass damn things. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling Okay, now look, this is, this is another slippery slope for him. Thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth. There's a lot of cars coming, bro. Thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above. So you're going to have the best of, of, you're going to have the best of the best. Uh, don't forget now, Job chapter 9, verse 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So that's why you see these Esau, that's why you see them all over the damn place. There was a video out in some country in Dubai or somewhere and, and there was a a, a, a a heathen, you know, declaring that how sick he was of Esau being all over the damn place, wanting them to serve them, okay? <laughs> all the way, all over there. Hey, every, every damn where, bro. They're, never, they're not keepers at home. They're all over the place. Because what? This is their blessing. And Isaac, his father answered and said unto him behold thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and the dew of heaven from above now here's the here's the slippery slope and by the sword shall thy live and shall serve thy brother by that sword shall thy live so you're gonna you know you're gonna get all this stuff by means of your sword by your military by conquering and killing and robbing and pillaging and stealing and shall serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass when thou have the dominion that thou that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing, wherein his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, The day of mourning for my father are at hand, then will I slay my brother Jacob. Right? So he you know he's a he's a hater, he's a murderer. You know, he got the spirit of Cain on him. He's a murderer from the beginning, bro. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 26, verse 52. Then said Yahweh unto him, Put up again the sword into his place. For all that take up the take that take the sword shall perish with the sword. And there you go right there. That's a slippery slope. Because Esau Edom lives by the sword. But the scriptures say, All that live by the sword shall die by the sword. Okay? That's what we're talking about, you know. All praise to you, how about Shema Shah? It's already set up, bro. This is the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse 12. Woe to him that buildeth a town with blood and establish a city by iniquity. Right, there you go right there, man. And who, who has uh, built this Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, with nothing but bloodshed? All of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, bro. Nothing, just nothing but bloodshed, pain, heartache, oppression. Death, murder, lies, deceit, blood. Woe to him that builded a town with blood and established and established a city by iniquity. Nahum chapter three verse one. Woe to the bloody city. It is full of lies and robbery, and pray and the the prey not departed. That's right, woe, destruction to all Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, man. Destruction, destruction, destruction. That's what's coming to this place. It's prophecy already written down, man. There's no there's no way to get around it. That's right, yeah, that's why, uh, let's, hey, let's read it again. Exodus chapter 14, verse 13. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still and see the salvation of Yahweh by Shemashah which he will show to you this day. For the Egyptians whom ye see have, have seen today, ye shall see them again no more forever. The Lord shall fight for you, and ye shall hold your peace. And uh, Esau, Edom, the Caucasian race is the modern day Egyptian, bro. Go to the book of Numbers, chapter 35, verse 33. So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are for blood it defileth the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, 
but by the blood of him that shed it. What was I telling you right there? That Esau eat him. You got to pay for the bloodshed. You know? You got to pay for your bloodshed. And the scripture declares uh, in the book of Isaiah, um, roughly paraphrasing, uh, prepare a slaughter for his children, for the iniquities of his fathers. That's right, because you are your forefathers. Prepare a slaughter for his children. So what? So the land can be clean. I'm gonna clean up their blood with the blood that's been shed. That who that who shed the blood? Romans chapter nine verse seventeen. For the scripture said unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. Right now, who's the modern day Egyptian? Esau, Edom, the Caucasian race. And just the same way, Yahweh Shemasha raised up Pharaoh so he could take him down. Going right back to the book of Jeremiah chapter sixteen verse fourteen. And it, shall, and it shall no more be said that the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from, from uh, Egypt. But the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north and all the lands that he scattered them. That's Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, who's, who's, being, who's being run by Esau, Edom, the Caucasian race, right? Because the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. They're all over the place. But mainly Babylon the Great, that's what's going to get destroyed. That's going to get destroyed by the nuclear fire. That's prophecy being fulfilled. Now we're going to go to the book of Psalms, chapter 37, verse 1. Now look, I wanted to read the whole thing, bro. But y'all go read it, because it's a beautiful scripture. It's a beautiful, it's a it's beautiful, man. Psalms, chapter 37. Uh, just telling you to calm, you know, be okay. It's everything going to be all right. We're just going to read down to verse 11. Psalms, chapter 37, verse 1. Song of David. Fret not thyself because of evildoers. Neither be... Thou envious against the workers of iniquity. Right. So, once again, turn away from this wicked ass world. Have nothing to do with this place. Just be patient and wait on your Habashim Asha. This arise ye in the part, for this is not your rest, brothers and sisters. For they shall soon be cut down like the grass, and weather as the green herb. Trust in your Habashim Asha and do good. So shalt thou dwell in the land and and, and very thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in Yahweh Shemasha, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. See that? Right. Goes right back into uh, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven, and all these things shall be added up unto you, man. Delight thyself also in Yahweh Shemasha, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy ways unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light, and thy judgments at the noonday. Rest in your by Shemashah, and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way, because of the man who bringeth wickedness, wicked devices to pass. And who's that man right now? Esau Edom. With the damn medicine, and with the RFID, that thing, that M-A-R-K that's coming down the pipe. Rest in Yahweh Shemashah. That's right. And wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospers in his way. He seems like he's going to fulfill this, but, but Yahweh Shemashah say, uh, he gives him a, a bounds that he cannot pass, bro. Fret not thyself because of him who prospers in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not, this, fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. For evildoers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon Yahweh Shemashah, they shall inherit the earth. For yet a little while, the wicked shall not be. Ye, that's sh Salaki, for yet a little while the wicked shall not be. Yea, though thy, thou shalt diligently consider his place, and it shall not be. But the meek shall inherit the earth. This is the point. The meek shall inherit the earth and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. And that's what we're looking for, bro. We're looking for a little rest and a little peace. We're looking for the kingdom of heaven. Because Yahweh Shemashah 
has made the earth for our sakes, the world for our sakes, and it's time. Um, you know, I was gonna, I was gonna bring up the um, that second Ezra chapter six verse fifty nine. We should go get it, right? Uh, but we're gonna go back to the book of Moses, so like uh, Exodus chapter fourteen verse thirteen. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of Yahweh Shemashah, which He will show to you today. Right. So we're at this point where no matter how much this man talking all this hey how about Shema Shah say trust in him be patient in your patience possess your souls calm calm down and have faith in how about Shema Shah and understand that this is the master plan right here mm -hmm. and everything gonna be alright brothers and sisters so with that you know, uh, and also that Second Ezra chapter six verse fifty nine. Just to you know, not leave it out, out like, like, like that. Uh, Second Ezra chapter six verse fifty nine just declares that Yahweh Shemasha has made the world for our sakes. You know, but now these heathens have become lords over us. How long shall this endure? Roughly paraphrasing, but this is the time because Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that following, brothers and sisters. So hey, once again, once again, just to, just to close it out. I'm gonna close it out with this. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still and see the salvation of Yahweh Shemashah, which he will show you today. today. For the Egyptians who ye have seen today, ye shall see them again no more forever. Yahweh Shemashah shall fight for you, and ye shall hold your peace, brothers and sisters. So with that, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekakadash. I want to give double honors to the Elder Apostle Great Millstone for bringing out 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing his word in all truth and sincerity. And the one-third of Israel who believe in the word. Follow the Lamb wherever going. Shalom, Israel. Shalom.